So hi guys, this video is on how to unlock your MI phone's bootloader. So go ahead to settings and developer options and enable OEM unlock. Enter your password then add your MI account and the MI unlock status and it says MI account added successfully. So wait for it. Now go ahead and power off your phone and press power button and volume down until your phone boots to fast boot mode so now in your pc you have to be downloading the mi bootloader unlock tool okay so i've downloaded it so extract it to your favorite place so i'm extracting it in downloads folder After extracting, go to the this thing and open the batch and lock.exe. Then sign into your me account by entering your mail and password. Your device should be detected as shown in the video. And click on unlock, it says unlocking. Then your device will be automatically rebooted and data will be wiped. So you need to go to additional settings now and go into your developer options and Make sure your USB debugging is enabled and once your USB debugging is enabled, connect your phone to your PC with the original cable provided by Xiaomi and then reboot your phone into fast boot by powering off your phone and keep on pressing volume down and power button until your phone is booted into fast boot and once your phone says fast boot, that means your phone is in fast boot mode, this is just a different ROM so the fast boot mode is different. So now in your PC, all you need to do is go to the V3.5812 and download the TWRP image for Redmi K40 which works for the Poco F3 as well as the Mi 11X. So now once your image is downloaded, you can go into your platform tools folder and open CMD there by typing CMD. To check if your phone is directed in fastboot mode, type fastboot devices. And well, my phone is directed in fastboot devices. Now let's start the flashing process of the TWRP by typing fastboot, boot, and drag and drop the recovery file. Now click on enter. Okay, fine, the spelling is wrong. Fastboot, boot, and again drag and drop the image. Now it says sending boot, wait for your recovery to get flashed. And if it says finish total time 4.812 seconds or anything else, your phone that means your phone is gonna boot into fast boot. I mean your recovery. So let's wait for it to happen. So as you can see, the TWRP is booted and the version has changed. To make the TWRP permanent, you can either copy your TWRP image to your folder, which I'll be doing now. And once your image is copied, you can go into advanced, install recovery RAM disk and select your TWRP image you just copied and swipe to install. So if your phone was rooted previously, that means your phone has been unrooted and the boot image has been replaced. And I think you can install root from here as you can see, install Magisk and Magisk Alpha. So you can install the direct latest version which is the Magisk V25. If you want to install root, you can just swipe to confirm. It will just install Magisk V25. So once the installation is done, you can go to home, reboot and select recovery to check if your recovery is flashed completely. So if your TWRP is booted, that means your TWRP is completely flashed and is permanent. And your root is also successful if you want to install root. And this is how on this video is on how to install TWRP. And if this video helped you, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.